Hello y'all, this is Prime3285, and this is part two of my video of the Street Fighter 2 history. This is part two, and I want to continue talking about Street Fighter 2 and, and more versions of it. First, what I left off was Super Street Fighter 2, the, uh, the new challenger, and it was a great game. I really enjoyed Super Street Fighter 2, you know, with new characters such as Kami. Cammy, DJ, um, Fei Long, and T Hawk. Also, with the movies, the movies was awesome. I love the animated movie. You know, I really enjoyed. You know the movies too, but Street Fighter Two was very popular in the nineties, and it had so many versions of Street Fighter Two, and it was a great game. And. I just love going to the Cheltenham Mall, playing it with my friend Duran and and my friend Spence. You know, we used to always go to Cheltenham Mall and play Street Fighter 2. No matter what version it was, we used to love playing Street Fighter. For the Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, and, and the arcade, it was just, it just brings back memories. And I just, you know, you know, I just love doing a video of this because I'm just a big fan of Street Fighter. Huge fan. And I love the characters. Including, you know, Fei Long, Cammy. You know, the new characters included in Super Street Fighter 2. And, and, you know, the characters, which I love too, is Ryu and Ken. You know, Chung Lee. You know, you know, uh, Dalsum. And Bison and Sackett. They all, like, were great characters. You know. Everybody had their favorites, too. You know, and it was also followed up by Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You know, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo was a little more faster. Also, they had these bars when you do amount of combos, you get like a turbo bar. You could do like a super special move with Ryu, where Ryu charge up his fireball and hit his opponent. It does more damage. Ken also had this. Is a charge up attack with his Shoryuken. Also, with Super Street Fighter 2 that I left out from the last video, Ken had a new uppercut, which when he uppercut his opponent, the opponent would be on um, in fire on flames. And Ryu had a new fireball, but Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo had a new boss and a new character, and his name was Akuma. It was the first game that they featured Akuma in. Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. He was a very strong character. He was similar to Ken and Ryu, but his fireball was... His, his moves was different. His fireball was stronger. He had an air fireball attack, you know, that he hit you with his hand, you know, mid-air. He was also a very strong character. He was like a, ri a rival of Ryu, you know. And he was a very cool character. He was, it was the first game they introduced Akuma. Which I first seen him, he was really creepy. I was like, who is this guy? I was like, what is this monster looking dude? With red hair and red eyes. He looks sort of similar to Ken Ryu, but he looks older, you know. Looks scary. And it was a really cool character they introduced. You know, he was like the, he was like the boss, the next boss. It wasn't just in Bison, it was him you had to worry about. You know, Akuma. And it was a button code, if I can recall. And Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo was a button code. If you highlight Ryu, T-Hawk or something, it was a button code that allows you to unlock him. It was like a button code that allowed you to play as Akuma. And Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo. You know. Akuma was a really cool character that they introduced, you know, along with... The other characters, you know, Super Street Fighter 2 Turbo, you know, and Street Fighter was very popular, you know. It had more, it kept introducing new characters along the way. Characters people love. You know, you start having people that was, start becoming big fans of Akuma. You know, you had a lot of Akuma fans, just like you had a lot of Ryu and Ken fans and Chung Lee fans and Kami fans, you know. Street Fighter was just a huge phenomenon. A huge phenomenon. And it was very popular. 
Everybody loved playing Street Fighter. You know, just brings back memories. Street Fighter, I just was just really crazy about it. You know, and then it was also followed up with versions of like for the I think the DS or 3DS they had the Street Fighter 2 Super Tur Turbo. You know, and it was also followed up in 2009, I think it was either 2009 or 2008 with Street Fighter HD Remix, you know. Street Fighter HD Remix was a great remake. It's like they did everything over. The characters, the boards, you know, the characters, like, you know, how Ken and Ryu looked, they made them look better. It was a great remake of the classic Street Fighter 2, you know. And I think they got the drawing from the comic book. I remember the Street Fighter comic book that Capcom brought out before. And I think they got most of the concept, like the drawings from that. And it just looks amazing. It's a great remake of Street Fighter 2, Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 2 HD remix. You know. And also what I left out before that version they had a street fighter 2 anniversary edition which you get all five versions of street fighter 2 it was for the playstation 2 and um an xbox if i can remember the xbox the first xbox also you know this version street fighter 2 hd remix was for the 360 playstation 3 you know was for those consoles and i think it was for the the arcade too, you know. But it was a great remake of Street Fighter 2. I even have this version. I just love playing it. How Ken and Ryu look, they look better. You know, the animation just looks amazing, you know. It sort of has the old classic feel to it. But it has like, they did everything over it. Like the drawing, this looks amazing. How Kuma looks. How the characters look really cooler looking, you know. And. They, put, they added more detail to the characters, but they still kept the field. And they also had remakes, remakes of every character's theme from the previous games. And, and the, the concept, the art was just amazing. The art for Barak, Ryu Ken, Chung Li. It was just amazing how they just brought back something that was so big in the 90s. And... They just did a remake of it, you know, a HD remake. And that was just awesome that Capcom did that. It was really cool. And the fact that Akuma was already playable in the game. You didn't have to put no you didn't you didn't have to use a button code. You could just play as Akuma. And it was just really cool how Ken music sound, this new music for Street Fighter 2 HD remix and Ryu's new theme, Cammy's you know, how the boards look updated, you know, they sort of kept the the old school look from the boards, but they made them look updated, they made them look better, it's like they did it a completely remake, you know, with new character designs, you know, it was just amazing, it was really cool, also with the new sounds, you know, when the characters hit, when they punch and stuff, and they added more, like, more detail, you know, and Street Fighter 2 is just a classic game, you know, it really is, it just brings back memories, and to my childhood, to a lot of people's childhood, especially people, you know, you got your hardcore Street Fighter fans out there that still love playing it to this day, and I want to talk more about Street Fighter, I want to have more videos, even videos about Street Fighter 4, you know, the different versions of Street Fighter 4, Super Street Fighter 4, Ultra Street Fighter 4, even Street Fighter 5, I want to talk about that, and also Street Fighter Alpha, I want to, you know, I want to make videos about Street Fighter Alpha, because, you know, it was very popular, everybody had their favorite version of Street Fighter, you know, Street Fighter 1, I want to do a video about Street Fighter 1 as well, you know, that, that was, that's what started it all. The very first Street Fighter game. You know, I think it came out in 1987. Or 1986, Street Fighter 1. Yeah. Also, I would like to say that, you know, um, it's just amazing how they just did amazing with this remake, you know. 
also they also it was it was followed up with uh street fighter ultra street fighter 2 for the switch you know and this version uh was sort of similar to street fighter 2 hd remix but it had more features like it had it was the first street fighter 2 game that featured evil ryu and featured violent ken from the street fighter 2 animated cartoon violent ken i thought that was just awesome to feature evil ryu but also violent ken you know and i'm a big ken fan and ryu fan but i was just so blown away that they had violent ken you know and they fireballs are like like akumas you know it's really cool i still haven't played this version of street fighter 2 yet because i don't have a switch i do want to get a switch at some point later down the line you know, maybe, hopefully, they'll make it for more systems. I don't know. But I'm really looking forward to playing this newer version of Street Fighter 2. Ultra Street Fighter 2. You know. Ultra, you know. And then, in fact, also it added features where you could change the character skins. You could change their skin color, their hair color, you know. You know, it's really cool how they, how they just added Violent Ken. You know, Evil Ryu with this new Street Fighter 2 that's for the Switch. You know, Ultra Street Fighter 2, the new challenge. They also added a first person game, I think. I don't know too much about that, but I just know they have like something like that too. You know, but, you know, had I heard a lot of great reviews about it, you know. And I'm just looking forward to playing this new Street Fighter 2 game. It's still Street Fighter games I still haven't played. Like, I want to play Street Fighter V very badly. I love Ultra Street Fighter Four and Super Street Fighter Four. I have those games. 